My name is Dan and we are in the Francis Collins lab in the NHGRI NIH Bethesda campus. I'm a computer programmer. I write machine learning algorithms. Machine learning is a subfield of computer science and artificial intelligence. So do you know Skynet? I have nothing to do with that. It's all about data mining. Biologists are always in need of new data mining programs. What essentially a lot of these algorithms do is they can classify whether something is a disease state or a non-disease state. And it also tell you how much variation there is. So maybe you want to figure out how much of your height can be attributed to your genes. It first began in my freshman year of undergrad when I have a great professor who realized my potential as an applied mathematician and spent three days a week in a Starbucks with me teaching me advanced linear algebra. That motivated me to just uh, get into research. I also read Francis Collins' The Language of God. And after spending two years in the University of California, Irvine, doing my PhD in computer science, doing genomics research, I finally had an opportunity to meet Dr. Collins himself and do a summer internship in his lab. The one thing that really excites me about what I'm doing is, it's just that it's so new and that it's so interdisciplinary. I really can't think of too many people in the world who are doing what we're doing or even what I'm doing at the moment because these, these are new technologies that are being made all the time. Biologists need newer and newer and faster programs to do what they're doing. Hey, Dan. In the long term, what we would like to do is to understand how the genome works and how it functions to the point where we could just treat the cell like a car. We can take it apart and build it back together, know it like the back of our hand. It's what I enjoy the most. It's very, it's, it's very relaxing, um, but not too relaxing. I do have to report to my superiors every day. Uh, I also have to make sure I generate results and draw some very valid conclusions. I ran the Wellington footprinting algorithm on the ATAC-seq data and found about a million footprints that may correspond to some transcription factors that haven't been described in the literature yet. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, really. Sometimes it involves me writing a new program for whatever the biologists need at the moment. Sometimes it means helping the biologists understand how to use my programs. You know, um, these, are not, these are nine cell types that we have available motif. Okay. I actually get to meet a lot of great people. I have made some very great friends here. <laughs> I'm constantly meeting them over and over again, whether they're in Washington, D.C. or Maryland. Have fun with what you're doing. Life isn't very fun if you're not actually enjoying what you're doing. And two, if you're going to fail, fail with style. Science is all about constantly failing and rebuilding yourself and learning from your mistakes. So you're living on the edge, basically. Oh, yeah. Right on the edge. Oh yeah, the edge of glory. <laughs>